Hello, this is Dr. Stuart Tepper, Professor of Neurology at the Geisel School of Medicine and Director of the Dartmouth Headache Clinic. I'll be discussing the publication, Safety and Efficacy of AMG-334 for Prevention of Episodic Migraine, a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled Phase two trial by Hong, Sun, and colleagues. This study was published in Lancet Neurology. I selected this article to discuss because preventive medications commonly used for migraines, such as topiramate, valparate, beta blockers, and amitriptyline, have limited efficacy and are associated with adverse events that contribute to poor adherence. Monoclonal antibodies that bind to either the ligand calcitonin gene-related peptide, CGRP, or to its receptor have shown clinical benefit for migraine prevention with good reported safety. This study assessed the safety and efficacy of the anti-CGRP receptor monoclonal antibody Arenumab, AMG334, for the prevention of episodic migraine. Methods of this study were, this was a phase two randomized double-blind placebo-controlled multi-center study involving adults with a history of episodic migraine with or without aura for 12 months or longer. Patients were randomized in a 3 to 2 to 2 to 2 ratio to monthly subcutaneous placebo, or arenumab, at a dose of 7, 21, or 70 milligrams for 12 weeks. The study involved four phases, of which only the 7-week screening phase and the 12-week double-blind treatment phase have been completed. Key findings of the study were 483 patients with a mean age of 41 years were randomized, 81% were women. Patients experienced an average of nearly nine migraine days per month. 58% had not been previously treated with preventive therapy. A third of patients had failed previous preventive therapy due to lack of efficacy or adverse events. At week 12, reductions in monthly migraine days were not significantly different for the 7 and 21 milligram doses of arenumab versus placebo. However, the mean reduction in monthly migraine days from baseline to week 12 was 3.4 days with the 70 milligram of arenumab, which was significantly greater than the 2.3 days with placebo. Reduction in monthly migraine attacks were similar for each of the three arenumab dose groups and placebo. An adverse event was experienced by 54% of patients who received placebo and 52% of patients who received arenumab. The most frequently reported adverse events in patients treated with arenumab were nasopharyngitis in 7%, fatigue in 4%, and headache in 3%. Here are my thoughts and analysis of this study. Arenumab is the only anti-CGRP monoclonal antibody that targets the CGRP receptor and not the peptide or ligand itself. Prior to this study, it was unknown whether the strategy would work in migraine prevention. This phase two randomized control trial demonstrated that arenumab injected subcutaneously and monthly for three months prevents episodic migraine in comparison to placebo. This is only a phase two trial, so current treatment will not change for the providers. This biologic will next be tested in a phase three, pivotal, randomized, controlled trial with a safety extension arm. And if safety and efficacy are confirmed, it will be submitted to regulatory authorities for evaluation and, if appropriate, approval. The anti-CGRP monoclonal antibodies may change the face of migraine prevention in that they appear to be extremely effective and so far safe and well-tolerated. As was seen in this study, the adverse events for the two groups, active and placebo, were basically the same. The opportunity to prevent migraine with a monthly injection will be a paradigm shift for clinicians and patients alike. As after any phase two trial, larger phase three trials of efficacy and safety need to be completed. Also unanswered is the question of whether the antibody to a CGRP receptor will offer any advantage or disadvantage over an antibody to the CGRP peptide itself.